Hey guys, in a previous lesson, we looked at the angle sum of polygons and in particular regular polygons. And we mentioned that regular polygons are, are shapes that have the same sides in length and the same angles in terms of size. Now we're going to use the same formula we used earlier on in the previous lesson to work out a missing angle in a non-regular polygon. A non-regular polygon means it's a polygon, it has straight sides, it has angles, however the sides and the angles are not all the same. Now let's look at this shape here. It is a pentagon, however it's an irregular pentagon, meaning the sizes of the sides and the angles are different. So here in this uh, poly polygon, in this pentagon, we have an angle 90 degrees, 120, 130, an angle that is missing, we've put an X there, we don't know what it is, we would like to find it out, and another angle there that is 130. So to find the missing angle, we use the same formula which is the angle sum. We would like to know what is the total that all these angles add up to. Now a pentagon because it's a polygon, we can use the formula to find the angle sum first. So to find what all these angles add up to, we use the angle sum formula. We would like to know the total, then take them away from the total, we're going to find x. So to find the total, we use the angle sum formula once again. 180 n is how many sides in this polygon? We know it's 5. 5 take away 2 times 180. We know 540 degrees. So this polygon here, it has 5 sides. We know the formula to find the angle sum. All the angles total up, they all add up to 540 degrees. So now that we know the total, we can take all the angles away to find our missing angle X. So, our working out, X is going to equal the total 540 take away, so 540 is the total, take away the angles that we already know, which are 130, 120, 90 degrees and the other 130. So 540 is the total. We're going to take away all the other angles. We're going to take this one away, take that one away, take that one away, take that one away. We're going to be left with X, which is the missing angle that we're looking for. Okay, so when we work them out, 130 plus 120 plus 90 plus 130, the total is 470 degrees. 540 take away 470, our answer is 70 degrees. So X is 70 degrees because we've taken away all the other angles from the total, which is 540, and we found X is 70. So as you can see, we can use the same formula for regular polygons and for irregular polygons to find missing angles as we did there. Again, we showed the working out, very important. The working out, you'll always get marks for, and of course, you'll get your final mark for the correct answer.